Welcome to Five on Five. This is five minutes on my first five miles of a particular shoe. Today's shoe is the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3. Okay, so I might have been wrong about my shoe of the year. I, I may be getting ahead of myself. Mile one, super easy pace. You can definitely feel that Saucony Speed Roll technology. Must be the microchips. For the step in feel, on a scale of not exciting to exciting, it's definitely more on the exciting side. For the upper, true to form, true to Saucony form, it is stellar. Uh, disclaimer alert, the Endorphin Speed 1 was the GOAT IMO, uh, top to bottom. The lockdown on the number one was masterful. Okay, mile two, doing some steezy pace now. Not really feeling any sort of plate in there. But I am feeling the roll through on the technology I'm playing with. The heel strike, the midfoot strike, the forefoot. Advantage heel strike. Okay, mile three. Just did some fart licky, fart lickness. And uh, my biggest fear has come true. The snappiness at higher speeds is not the same. I do feel some energy return. I think it's more of a bounce. It has more to do with the foam. Than, uh, than the plate. Uh, a little sad about that. That's what I was worried about. For the marketing for this shoe, it was all about widening the platform, adding some more foam, converting it, the Speed 1 and 2, into like a daily trainer. And they absolutely 100% achieved their goal. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm so dumb. This might actually be the shoe of the year. After Chicago, Gafuzi made a shoe of the year video with the Nova Blast 3. So I decided to put it to a test and I made a video about the Nova Blast 3 being the shoe of the year. Like a dumbass. <laughs> oh, I hate being wrong. That's okay. It's good to put your foot in your mouth occasionally. If on said foot is the Endorphin Speed 3. All right, so if I had to compare the Nova Blast 3 and the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 on their initial runs, I'd say they're very similar. They both have exciting foam. The Nova Blast 3 is, is bouncy, but the Nova Blast 3, it has all its foam kind of right underneath your foot. Maybe it's my lack of internal hip rotation, but I feel like when I land on the Nova Blast 3 on the heel, it rolls on the outside through to the front. Whereas like the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 really feels like it's a flat landing. Like it promotes better form. I could land more on the midfoot to the forefoot. Or if I land on the heel, I kind of roll through to the front nicely. Just could be poor form. Mile 5, use case. This is like the one shoe to rule them all. I really like it at all the paces. Regrettably, I don't love it at any particular pace like I did the speed one. So, I guess this opens up the door for Saucony. The window opens up the window, opens up the gay garage. It opens up something, you know, for them to create a tempo day shoe and charge me 180 bucks. I'll pay it. I'm a whore like that. I'll pay it. Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 Final Thoughts. I have to try a couple more shoes before I make a bold claim that it's the shoe of the year. Stick my foot in my mouth again. But it's definitely in the running. Pun completely unintended. Hate myself. Check out this other 5 on 5 I did on the Audi Zero SL. Um, I also do shoe reviews and training videos and other things. Just getting this channel started. Appreciate you. Like, subscribe, all, all things. Do all the things.